Hey everyone, so let's talk about the greatest comedy of all time. No, I'm not talking about my love life. I'm talking about reality TV talent shows. You know, the kind where dreams are made, crushed, and then turned into memes? Yeah, that's the one. It's like watching a mirror that reflects the best and worst of us, except with more sequins and auto-tune. Isn't life just one big never-ending audition? Think about it. Whether it's job interviews, first dates, or just trying to return something without a receipt, we're always on stage. There I am, giving my best performance, trying to convince this cashier that yes, my toaster did spontaneously combust, and I deserve a refund. It's my own personal talent show, mine is the three judges. Unless you count the disapproving glances from the queue behind me. You know how in these shows, there's always that golden buzzer moment. That one act that's so amazing, it sends them straight to the finals. I'm still waiting for my life to give me a golden buzzer moment. Like maybe I'll finally perfect the art of loading the dishwasher so that the dishes actually come out clean. And boom, confetti falls from the ceiling and my mom cries tears of joy in the audience. And what about judges, huh? There's always that one quirky judge that's just a little bit out there. In real life, that's the random stranger who gives you unsolicited advice. Like I'm just trying to pick out avocados at the grocery store, and suddenly I've got this guy telling me his life story and how to make guacamole like he's the Gordon Ramsay of the produce section. Thanks, I guess. Everyone loves an underdog story, right? That contestant who nobody expects much from, but then they start singing and it's like angels descended. In real life, that's me trying to parallel park in front of a crowded cafe. All eyes are on me, expecting failure, but then I nail it in one try. Suddenly, I'm not just a guy in a sedan, I'm a parallel parking deity. No applause, but I saw the awe in their eyes. And let's not forget the emotional backstory segment. Every contestant has one. In the world of reality TV, it's like you can't sing a note if you haven't survived a shark attack or something. In real life, our backstories might not be as dramatic, but they're still there. Like, Yes, Simon, I did overcome adversity. I managed to get the USB in on the first try. It was a spiritual journey. Ever notice how contestants have these dramatic costume changes between rounds? It's like one minute you're a cowboy and the next you're a spaceman. That's like us trying to dress appropriately for the occasion. I am thinking, will this t-shirt work for a casual lunch and a wedding? Can I make sweatpants look formal? It's all about versatility, folks. I call it the wardrobe chameleon strategy. Blend in everywhere, stand out nowhere. And then there's the moment the music cuts out, or the mic stops working. Classic technical difficulties. That's like when you're giving a presentation and your computer decides it's a great time to update, or you're trying to impress someone with your cooking, and the smoke alarm becomes your unexpected backup singer. It's like the universe's way of saying, let's see how you dance your way out of this one. 
You've got to love when a contestant surprises everyone with an unexpected song or genre. It's like, I thought you were an opera singer. Why are you rapping? That's life, right? Just when they think they've got you pegged, you switch it up. Oh, you thought I was just into science fiction? Boom, here's my collection of rare historical coins. Take that, stereotypes. The elimination round is brutal. Watching someone's dreams get crushed is heart-wrenching. But isn't that just a Tuesday for us? Whether it's not getting that job, or being ghosted after what you thought was a great date, we've all been there. The trick is to walk off that stage with your head held high, ready to sing another day. Or, you know, binge eat ice cream and try again tomorrow. Finally, there's the grand finale when the winner is showered in confetti and praise. For us, these moments might be more subdued, but they're just as sweet. Like when you finally find your keys after searching for hours, or when the Wi-Fi works on the first try. No, there's no confetti or a trophy, but maybe, just maybe, your cat looks at you with slightly less judgment than usual. Victory. In the end, reality TV talent shows aren't just about music or talent. They're a reflection of the comedy, tragedy, triumph in our everyday lives. Each of us is performing on the greatest stage of all, life itself. Sure, we might not have a panel of judges critiquing our every move, but we've got something better. We've got a chance to write our own scripts, sing our own songs, and dance like nobody's watching, because honestly, they're probably not.